Hi everyone, this is Radhika here again. I hope you all are doing well. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a qu quick video on um, how to get centered in a narcissistic situation. Um, so this is something that you can do in minutes when you are in the middle of a narcissistic situation. And uh, let me explain this. So this is a situation which is not with the main narcissistic person in your life so there are some assumptions that i'm making here which are that you have left um relationship with the the very narcissistic person that you had in your life uh because of whom you have started looking up on narcissism and things like that or maybe you haven't left them but you have all this information with you so this is like um, a, a situation where you already know a lot about narcissism but you in life you will always find narcissistic people and they will be on different degrees of the narcissistic spectrum. So they might not be complete malignant narcissists but they will have certain narcissistic trends and especially if you are an empath and if you are trying to be um, you are always trying to be the highest form of yourself that you can be so you're living in love and light or you're living in peace and harmony with others um, there will come situations where you will be at the receiving end of someone else's narcissistic traits um, so so this situation, in this kind of a situation, what do you do? So it assumes that you have knowledge about narcissism. It's not the first time you're finding out about narcissism. Um, so yeah, so what happens is because you have been in narcissistic situations before, um, the next time you see someone showing you some narcissistic traits or trying to shame you or trying to make you feel embarrassed about something, um, or make you feel guilty or gaslighting you you will you will immediately pick that up that um, something wrong is going on here because you have already been through that and you have already survived and you've already found out so much more information about it but what can happen is because you have already faced so many times these things over and over again in your life that when they come up again say you have faced them in your family etc and now you have always been the scapegoat in your family maybe you get married somewhere and that family does the same thing to you now maybe in office environment um, something happens and you you find yourself being scapegoated again like you find a, a, a person in your team is uh, showing you narcissistic traits maybe they're trying to bully you um, so what happens is when such a situation happens again all the suppressed emotion and the triggers come up and the victim mentality comes up and uh, the feeling sorry for yourself comes up and the reactive nature comes up so what happens is in such a kind of a situation it is very very easy to get into an unconscious and reactive state and simply react to that situation um, so so this is the trick that will help you center yourself balance yourself in that situation and uh, let me tell you that those situations that happen they are coming up over and over again because those situations are an opportunity for you to reprogram your behavior so so what happens is in this when when such a situation comes up and you change the way you react to that situation that's what is needed so when you change your reaction to a productive one you do it two three times just observe the magic because that situation will stop happening in your life and that is because there was a lesson here the lesson was to to um to kind of deal with this in a productive way 
and once you start dealing with it in a productive way the lesson is learned so that situation stops repeating itself um so yeah so in this is the trick so in such such a situation use this method when this is happening to you tell yourself this in your mind okay say someone is attacking me right now that the work you did was not good and you took so much time to do with it to do it etc etc so just just think about this i want to take some time to understand this that's it think this statement to yourself i want to take some time to understand this okay so it's it's whatever is happening in in front of you might be very chaotic and it might trigger you um to give a reaction but don't give that reaction don't analyze the situation the only one mantra you have to say in this situation is i want to take some time to understand this that's it and you can remove try to remove yourself from that situation if you can if you can't just keep quiet if the narcissist is egging you on and on just say that i need some time to understand this situation and i'm assuming this is like a workplace scenario because um hopefully by this time if you have a narcissistic person in your family life you have kind of dealt with it in a different way but uh, sometimes when we work with someone we have to earn a living we cannot we cannot simply leave a job or do something like that or we cannot distance ourselves from people who are in your team um and you have to do the work so you know like whatever you work on is going to get analyzed and it's going to get like if you are the scapegoat you know that someone is going to say some like the narcissistic person is going to kind of target your work so in that kind of a situation you can just say that i need some time to understand this and you can tell it to that person if you are in a team meeting you can say it out loud you know just take a and after that don't say anything just take a break then you can once that meeting is done or that situation is over you are out of that space you can go you can cry in the bathroom you can vent your emotions you can do what feels right to you you want to punch a bag you can punch a bag whatever but the point of this is when someone is egging you on to react because they are feeling chaotic inside they have some you know pent up frustration inside they want to transfer it to you as soon as you react the transfer is done it's like it's literally like a transfer of energy they were feeling something they transferred it to you by creating a situation and you have taken on that energy so by not reacting you are blocking you are blocking that energy they are trying to put something like it's like paint they are trying to paint your face but you're wearing a helmet so they can't throw the paint on you you know and that frustrates them so that should be the main point when someone is trying to frustrate you egg you on make you reactive in any way maybe they are just complaining a lot so that you get irritated by their complaining you can just you can just remove yourself from the situation and say i, I need some time to understand this and then that non reaction of yours is going to make them frustrated even more so basically what they're trying to do is not succeeding and you do this maybe two three times with a particular person they are going to stop troubling you because they what they are trying to get is they are trying to get a reaction out of you and when you stop giving that reaction because you you know their game now you know why they are doing the things that they are doing when you get that and you stop reacting they are going to lose their power over you and you are going to have this this tremendous calm unshakable strong power which is inside you but it is latent you know it's not it's not a power which goes and grabs but it's a power that doesn't move it just stays there you know it stays calm and quiet and unshakable 
so that's the kind of power that empaths should go after because that power is is real power it's really powerful it's 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 attacking only when necessary otherwise it's defending you know protective power so so yeah this was this video and the mantra is i want to take some time to understand this so do this two three times and the way you can practice it is whenever something is irritating you you can also use this mantra you can think about this you can say if someone is something is irritating you okay maybe there is like loud music playing and you want to work and you are getting into that reactive state because you're trying to do something and because of the loud music you're not able to concentrate even in that situation when there is no other person involved when it's just you against your irritation or you against this um, urge to react you can even in that situation you can say this i want to take some time to understand this so if you if you master this this um uh, this urge to react or shout or basically give something your complete focus and give away your power give away your center give away your balance if you fight this urge um uh, even even by yourself then you will be much better uh, equipped to do this when there's a narcissistic person in the scenario so really self improvement helps a lot when you are dealing a with narcissistic people but b just generally in life it always helps you if you have more of a i wouldn't say control but you are more in harmony with whatever you're feeling and you are more conscious of what you're feeling um so yeah that was this video and i hope it is helpful to you if it is then please do comment below the video if you guys use this technique or if you guys have any other techniques and uh, please do share subscribe and like all the videos and uh, i'm very thankful for all your comments um so as always i wish you all a lot of love and a lot of light thank you bye